this is Debbie from Project 39 and I'd like to show you a loaded card. I don't know what else to call it. A loaded pocket card that I made. Um, this is using the Ireland Forever paper. It's a new paper line from Country Craft Creations and this one just came out a couple weeks ago. So let me show you what I made. So it opens up with this library style pocket and then this opens up. And there's this adorable hat up here, and this says good morning to you, or top of the morning to you. It's a cute little hat with the gloves and a stick and the pipe. Um, and I love all these little designs on that. And then I made a little card, so that opens up like that. And it says, may the luck of the Irish be with you all year long. And I just printed that out on my computer. And then there's that. Celtic knot, is that what you call it? Um, okay, and then this further opens up this way. And in this pocket, and this, by the way, this was from the paper pad cover. So I think that one was right here. So that is really cute, and I just cut that out and trimmed it down. And there is a picture. That's actually a picture of me. It's quite old, but... Um, I'm sending it to my mom and I just wanted to show her some pictures. It's a black and white photo because I don't have color ink and I just added some green alcohol marker to it. So that goes in there. And then this says Happy St. Patrick's, Happy St. Pat's. I just printed that off from um, a free image from the internet. It's printed on a uh, light green cardstock and I backed it with dark green but I put in some gold trim and some green embroidery floss and I put some double-sided tape so you could just put this on you wear it as a pin um, for St. Patrick's Day in case you don't have anything green so then this actually opens this way and here is another library style closure and I love this pretty uh, pattern right there. And that opens up like that. And there's a picture. That's me again. That's my brother. So we will close that again. I just thought, you know, we've had these pictures forever. And you don't always take out your old pictures. And I thought they would be appropriate for this time of year. So this pocket has, so it's got this little Irish blessing may the blessings outnumber the shamrocks that grow and may trouble avoid you wherever you go so that's in there this is just a little card says good luck and again i printed black and white and colored and added a couple of dimensionals there here's another little green thing you can stick on you if you are not wearing green and this is just a little bookmark it was just very pretty and again that was cut from the front of this paper pad. You know, now I'm looking at I think I should put it on some dark green cardstock, so I might do that later. And it's got some binding, seam binding on the top, which is really pretty done in a, ooh, it's not a gold. I think this is just beige. So those guys go into that little pocket. And of course, says Luck of the Irish. And I had these in my stash. I'm really not sure where I got these stickers, but uh, they went nice with the collection. And then, of course, here, uh, another Irish greeting. You know, I have a different one. I should put that one in there. Um, but I thought you, uh, if you got this, you could pass it out to whoever you wanted to. And now I see this and realize that really is upside down. Um, and then here is this cute, cute, cute little girl. And this was taken out of this 12 by 12 paper. Just took a little bit of fussy cutting. Not fussy cutting. I cut a square. That's where that St. Patrick's came from. It's really quick and easy to do. So stay tuned. And here comes the tutorial for you. All right. We're going to start with two 12 by 12 inch pieces of cardstock. I would recommend using artisan cardstock because it's going to score so much better. I'm just using some scrap paper that I have in my stash in pink to show you how I cut it. So 
both pieces of 12 by 12 paper, you're going to cut a five and a half inch piece by 12, leaving you with a six and a half inch piece by 12. So you'll have two five and a half by 12 and two six and a half inch by 12. We're going to take one of those five and a half inch piece and cut it down to nine and a quarter. And then once you've cut that down to nine and a quarter, you'll take it and put it on your scoreboard and score at five and a half and five and seven eighths. Five and a half, five and seven eighths. And then you also can grab a corner rounder if you choose and round the corners or whatever pattern uh, corner rounder you want to use that would be fabulous and then your other piece of five and a half by 12 you're going to take and score at five and a half and five and three quarters then you're going to move over to eleven and a quarter and eleven and a half simple enough. The other pieces of six and a half, you're going to score these and make some uh, pockets. So this is six and a half and we're first going to cut down to um, three and a half. Another three and a half by six and a half. Then you'll have a five inch piece left over, which we're just going to cut in half at two and a half by six and a half. So these are the four pockets. And you're going to score, what am I doing, grabbing all this paper. You're going to score all four pockets, half inch on the short sides. You can just rotate it. And then half inch on one long side on all three pockets. And then go ahead and apply score tape or whatever. This is the piece left over from the nine inch. Um, you can you can make an extra pocket if you want, or you can just use that for a photo mat. Uh, and then you'll have one more piece of the six and a half inch left. And I'm going to trim that down to um, four by six and a half. So it's already six and a half. We're trimming this down to four. And uh, five and a half. And this five and a half by six and a half inch piece, you will cut down to three and an eighth. And three and a half. You already have three and a half. So, with these pieces, so the piece that's four by six and a half, we're gonna score in the center at three and a quarter. This is going to make uh, a little card that we'll have inside. And then these other pieces that are five and a half by three and an eighth and five and a half by three and a half, 
we're going to score on half an inch on so the short sides at the top score on the long side this is going to make the sort of the double door um, it will make I'll show you so here's our little card that we have Whoops, there's our little card that we have and those little pieces will be these doors all right so again grab your score tape or use a uh, liquid adhesive art glitter glue is perfectly perfect and put aside this this card but add score tape on uh, the three sides of the pockets on the uh, half inch on both of these little window flaps and add it onto the uh, it's not quite half an inch, but add it on to that last piece of the five and a half by 12 that's got four other score marks on it. So we'll go ahead and do that. I'm going to actually turn this over. And let's burnish all that score tape. And the remaining piece. And let us trim all of the corners, just a slight angle. Of course on the pockets we're going to trim the top corners and then where this X is we're going to go a diagonal cut across like that and then we're going to burnish on all of the score lines So you have the two doors, two small pockets, two larger pockets, and the two pieces of five and a half by 12 and five and a half by nine and a quarter, and your little booklet. Now, with any remaining cardstock, if you want to cut any uh, photo mats out of whatever size you, you want, then go ahead and do that, depending on how you're going to decorate your book. So to start, we're going to take this 12 inch, five and a half by 12, and adhere it to the bottom of the five and a half by nine and a quarter. So I'll remove the score tape, put it right at the score line, and burnish. Oops, I did not burnish there. And so if you fold it, you'll see where the bottom of the card is. And there's a couple of ways to fold it. So I just went in like that. And this is my bottom. This is where it the flap will meet the bottom. Okay, now let me show you where the pockets and flaps are going to go real quick and then we'll adhere it. So one of the smaller pockets I'm going to put on this side. The little doors are going to go in the next one. 
and then another of the small pockets will go on the bottom here. So let's do that. And this is on the inside of everything. So let's adhere those four pieces. Okay, so in the middle section, we're going to have those doors. I'm going to go ahead and round the corners here. It is entirely up to you if you want to do that also. And make sure when you're putting these on, you're in between the score lines. The bottom pocket. Okay, I'll burnish all that. And then here I'm going to take a second and I'm going to put a circle here so I don't forget that I need to do the, um, the round library style closure when I'm putting down the paper on here. And I'm also going to put one here. And then don't forget, this is going to go like this. So it's going to have to go here. Okay, so here we've got this side. Now I'm just going to turn it over like this. And this is going to seem really weird, but what you're going to do is you're going to put the large pockets here, sort of facing each other. So here's the pocket. And one's going to go here. And the other one's going to go here, so they're going to face each other. And it'll make sense when I um, fold it up again. All right, so you'll have a pocket with the opening here and a pocket with the opening there. I'm going to turn it over. Whoops, first I'm going to make that little circle to remind me that that's where the uh, library style closure is going to go. And so now this is going to go like this and that'll go like that. So we're going to have the closure here and this is plain on the back. And I'll show you what it looks like. So this is what it looks like decorated. So here's the smaller pocket. Here's the door. Here's another small pocket. We're going to turn it over, and you've got the library style closure up at the top, another library style closure here, and these two pockets that face each other. So simple enough. Now all we need to do is decorate it. And so let me tell you, when I decorated this, um, let me show you the papers that I used. I'm going to open that again. And obviously, you can decorate it however you want. But I used that paper, and I used that paper. So there was a lot left over to decorate it. So let me show you how I cut it out. So first, I knew that I wanted this little girl to go in the back here. So I cut this down, I cut it down here, and then I cut it up here, and then I went five and a quarter down and a five and a quarter over, and then I used these two pieces as, um, so here this piece, turn it upside down, and that was inside the pocket. This piece, I made the top flap from. So the other side, because I liked having these fleur de lis, so over here, once you cut out this little piece for the flap, turn this part over, and you'll get this piece. This was a little tricky because I wanted that for the door, these pieces for the door. 
I cut it down here first. So a little bit of this piece came off. So I cut it down about six and a quarter, maybe a little bit less. So I cut it across this way first, and then I cut, yeah, so then I cut this, and then there is this five and a quarter inch piece that I was able to use for here, across there, and then these pieces were for the door. Didn't that come out great? This was from the cover of the paper pad. One of these little pieces. This is this side of this paper. I really was thinking I could use this for the five and a quarter by five and a quarter and five and a quarter by about two and a half. So just do your best to piece this together. I just liked how this flowed together. And then I cut this piece. I wanted these folks for my little card. So I cut them down for the card. I think I cut this um, by four inches. So it would go on the card. And then I just filled in uh, with the musical paper everywhere else I needed it. Here, here, um, inside of here. No, we already determined where that was. And so I had some left over, which I used for the cut-aparts. And a lot of this paper would make adorable cut-aparts. I mean, look at that. That's going to make a great cut-apart. This would be fabulous. And even on the cover, wow. That would make a cute little cut-apart. The rose. This little bit, oh, I mean, you could fussy cut them and that would be fabulous. So there is lots of, I mean, this little cherub, I really wanted to use that with this. But there are other projects coming up, so I'll work on that. So anyhow, that is what I did. Now, for some of the cut aparts and decorating. So I just printed out Irish sayings on some plain, uh, just some plain cardstock. I printed some on an off-white and some on a green. So the green came out like this. This was just an image I found just putting in St. Patrick's Day shamrock and that image came up. Those are photos, those are photos. Um, I put in Irish blessing and I got this and I printed that on this off-white cardstock and just heavily inked the edges with green and a little bit of um, walnut stain. This also I put in St. Patrick's Day and came up with this and so I printed that out and I printed this. I had gotten some tool and I just put that around. Ribbon would be fine if you want to make it um, a rosette, you could do that. And then this was one of the pieces from the cover as well that I used some of the beige seam binding. And I thought those all came out adorable. So, I mean, you can mix and match and put things wherever you want. Maybe I'll put these guys there. I like her hiding in there. They can stay in there. So let's close the door on those kids. And let's put a little something something in there. Let's put the good luck card and the harp in there so that'll fold. So we've got that. We'll put the Irish greeting in there. And here I think I'll stick the I'll stick the bookmark there. And there was the same greeting. So I'm gonna put that right there. 
and then this will close up like that. And that's it. Isn't it cute? I want to see your pictures. Make sure you share them. If you folks are not members of Scrapbookers of Country Craft Creations, go ahead and go to the Facebook group. And if you are, please make sure you share what you've made with this. I'd love to see it. So that's what I have for you. Please list any questions in the comments below or put it in the Facebook group and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a fabulous day.